it's just to throw, just throw a wrench in that. Please. The authority can take out Bitcoin anytime it wants. Um, I don't think fraction, so, but okay. A good okay. fraction of the miners are in China. In fact, a 51% attack from China is easily available. And to think that the Chinese Bitcoin miners would not, you know, with a gun to their head, would not do a 51% attack is unrational. It's just unbelievable. Yeah. And there's nothing in Bitcoin that guarantees you won't have a 51% attack if a nation state dictates it. Right. I disagree. Uh, I actually think that the even though a lot of the mining is in China, it's not as concentrated as you think. Some of the pools are, but the mining farms themselves are distributed. Some of them are in some very remote rural areas. And in those remote rural areas, those farms represent a significant percentage of the local economy. So before you get that hired gun to walk up and tell them to shut down the mine, you've got to first pay them their salary. Right? And in that case, the Chinese government is the minority bidder for that salary. <laughs> because the mining farm operator is paying them much more lavishly. In fact, they already own every layer of government in that province. Uh, I would guess that's how government works. Yeah, well, um, I think also you underestimate how much resistance you're going to see in places where this is having a very significant uh, impact on incomes in rural areas that have excess capacity and electricity that they can't use any other way, and that's generating millions of dollars. Also, that creates motivation. You know, the biggest threat for the Chinese government isn't Bitcoin, it isn't America. It's a billion peasants with pitchforks who have decided they've had enough. And they've been trying to forestall that from happening for 25 years. And growth, economic growth in rural areas, that's the goose that lays golden eggs for them too. I think you overestimate how easy it would be to do that, and also how effective a 51% attack would be, or how long it could be sustained, and what kind of countermeasures we could put in place. This is a system that will evolve. It won't sit still and just take the blows. So, um, you may be right. Seven years in, it's not because they're not trying. It's not because they don't want it to stop. 